Hello fellow YouTubers, Briar Dreams, back for another video. Hope you're all doing well, hope you had a good weekend. It's even colder here now. If you watched my last video, I was saying how it's normally 90 to 100 or so here. And then it went down to 70. Well now, it went from about 80 or 90 yesterday down to like 55 this morning. So yeah, northern Florida is not as a... Uh, not as hot all the time as people think it is. I mean, it's usually hot, but the winter gets a little chilly sometimes. I'm smoking um, one of my other Mario Grandis. Just a freehand, almost like a Dublin shape. There's shorter Dublin. I have a few of Mario Grotti's pipes. I've had it for years. They're great smokers. I know um, some people say they vary in quality and stuff, but if that's true, I lucked out. <laughs> but I'm smoking. Some Gordell and Deals Carolina Red Flake. I'm sure some of you have heard about it. It's really good. I bought two tins of it uh, just because I know it's limited and um, opened one and I'm gonna sell her the other. Um, yeah, it's really tasty. Normally I like uh, my Virginia with some Latakia in it. <laughs> but just this pure red aged Virginia is it's great. So yeah, today I figured I'd uh, just kind of show you some of the tobaccos that I've acquired over the last couple weeks. Since coming back, you know. Um, a lot of them, like I said, are... Uh, Frog Morton replacement tryouts. <laughs> I'm really hoping to find one that tastes really similar. I don't think anything will ever uh, fully come close to the McClellan vinegar, as they call it, taste, but I'm looking. <laughs> so, yeah, brought some of my tobaccos out here, figured I'd show you i'm sure you've heard of some maybe you haven't heard of others so like i said right now i am smoking um this uh carolina red flake as you all know i already talked about the northwoods quite a bit got more of that coming obviously in the mail so this is another boswell blend that i finally tried it's one of their other Englishes. It's apparently, they, they, people compare it to Northwoods just with more Latakia. I guess it used to be called Railroad, Railroad Station 965, but obviously due to a uh, certain copyright, they had to uh, change that. But it's really good. I still think I like the Northwoods more though, to be honest. Um, another one I've been smoking a lot is this, uh, the Kramer's Father's Dempsey, Father Dempsey. Actually, that was another, um, the history of that is when it was created uh, at the shop by Father Dempsey, he wanted something that was close to Dunhill 965, and I guess when they got to the certain point that he liked it, he said, stop there, this is already better, so, but you can find all that history online. Um, got Cornell and Deal's Billy Bud. I had this a long time ago. I bought it in bulk back when I was younger, um, if you, like I said before, if you remember t uh, Pipe Friend CHS, he was a huge advocate of this stuff. He used to smoke them in his big old Magnum pipes. It's got a, a lot of Latakia and uh, it's got cigar leaf in it. This one I'm really excited to try. Capstan, Navy Flake. I got that because 
I'm a huge Lord of the Rings buff. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, I never knew that that was apparently Jared or Tokyo's favorite tobacco. So when I found that out, I pretty much bought that online instantly. <laughs> um, another one I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that I'm very excited to try. Plum Pudding by Seattle Pipe Club. This just seems like it's a um, basically a uh, Long Island iced tea of tobaccos. <laughs> All different kinds in there. Apparently they work very well together. All right, let's see. This one, got some more GLPs. This is Regent's Flake. This is a Virginia Flake. Excited to try it, I've heard good things. Another GLPs, Gaslight. This one I'm really, I know I keep saying I'm excited to try all these because I am, but uh, this tin description just like makes me love pipe smoking even more than I already did. <laughs> a rich Latakia mixture pressed in um, one ounce cakes on a misty moonless night along twisted cobblestone lanes illuminated only by the glow of ancient iron lanterns. You follow a scent as dark as the night itself. The exotic fragrance, hauntingly familiar, compelling, irresistible. Open the tin, discover the mystery. I mean, if you saw that and you didn't buy it, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I get it. It costs money. And I don't have much either. But man, when it comes to tobacco and pipes, I just can't help myself. <laughs> um, I think... Yeah, I think that's actually it. Oh, actually, I have um, I have some of this Sweet Dreams from Boswell as well. I didn't buy it. It came with um, a pipe I recently got, which I'll show you guys in one of these next videos. Um, I love Boswell pipes as well. I've I've got three of them now. As I'm sure you, some of you know that know anything about Boswell, um, every Monday night they put up, I'd say like. 15 to 20 pipes on their site and within hours they're sold out so it's kind of like you know first come first serve you have to have it in your cart and paid for before the other person does so it's kind of cool they've done that for years I remember them doing that back when I was um, when I started smoking and they send when you buy a pipe they send you a nice little pack with it with some pipe cleaners a little pipe tool box and a pouch um, little note and stuff and then an ounce of random tobacco and Sweet Dreams is one of their aromatics, and um, their aromatics are really good. I'm just, I'm not an aromatics person. Uh, so I tried a bowl, and it's, it's tasty, but I'm sure that'll probably just sit in my jar for a long time, which is fine, you know, maybe it'll uh, get some better flavors. I'm just not a big, uh, the casings, it, for some reason, that casing, no matter what flavor it is, I always get that weird aftertaste in my mouth, and I have one pipe, it's actually a Mara Grande, uh, that I have dedicated to aromatics. Um, I think I have like 18 or 19 pipes now. So if that goes to show you, um, not a huge aromatics person. There is one that I remember that was really tasty though called uh, W.O. Larson's Signature Blend. It comes in like this sweet blue tin. And that tasted just like it smelled. <laughs> That's the thing, a lot of those aromatics, they smell amazing, but the taste... I don't know, maybe I uh, hope to give them some more of a shot, you know, later on, but I have so many Englishes and Virginias and other blends to try in my priority list, obviously. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are all having a great day, great weeks. Um, yeah, I got some yard work to do today but at least it's cool outside. <laughs> Nothing's more uh, miserable than doing yard work in Florida when it's a normal summer. But when winter comes around, everything slows down here, all the grass stops growing so fast. and It's, it's weird, it's subtropical here, you know, so it's got a lot of, um, you know, it's like half tropical, half just normal forests. <laughs> so you get a lot of weird uh, mixture of some things die in the winter, but a lot of things are still living. I don't know, hard to explain. If you've ever been down to South Carolina or 
Georgia or Florida or anywhere down over here. You know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah. I got my old Copper Mountain mug, Copper Mountain, Colorado. Used to, uh, I worked at a breakfast restaurant there at the resort for a little while, a couple years ago. Learned to snowboard. It's a great place. I'd like to go back at some point, but I was living in employee housing and being, when I was almost 30 at the time, living in employee housing, you still got a lot of young kids and a lot of people that are uh, all still in that like dorm room mentality. So, I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. But I mean, it's sometimes kind of your only option out there out west because housing is ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive. When I was in California, gas is still $5. And then you get to Nevada and it's $2. Ugh, but that's a whole other uh, discussion. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys all have a great day and uh, happy puffing. See you next time.